Today, we're going to be showing you how to make Marie's famous baked spaghetti. Um, this is a very easy and simple recipe, but it's very delicious and it's packed with great flavor. And my mom has been making this recipe for at least 20 years and it has yet to disappoint anybody who has tasted it. So first, we're going to start with the ingredient. So you will need um, whatever your favorite pasta is, Italian seasoning, ground black pepper, onion powder, you'll need garlic powder, and minced garlic, Hunt spaghetti sauce, whatever your favorite kind is, some salt, and some ranch dressing, which my mom says this is her one of her secret ingredients, the second is the zesty Italian dressing. Also need some hamburger meat and some Italian sausage. Usually we use two cans of Hunt's spaghetti sauce, um, but they had none in the store. So we're going to do Prego today. And you can use any type of cheese you want to top it. Today we're going to use mozzarella and we may use the mozzarella and provolone bag if we need it. And then the sharp cheddar cheese goes on the inside, but use whatever your favorite is. The pot is boiling. So now I'm gonna um, put some vegetable oil in there so the pasta does not stick. Okay, put some salt in my hand. Pour some salt in the pot. Okay, I'm uh, gonna do a little garlic powder into the water. And a little onion powder. Into the water. Okay. Well, that's all I put in this. Now I'm going to put the pasta in. I like thin spaghetti. I don't like thick spaghetti. I'm going to break it. Drop into the pot. Mm -hmm. Got my hands full of spaghetti. That's it. That's all the spaghetti we need to. I'm not doing the whole pot. Break it. And that's it. That's all you do. I don't need a whole box because my family is small now. All my children have left home and they all grown and they all gone. So they cooking their own meals now. So I'm gonna boil that spaghetti. So now I'm gonna turn this temperature down. Turn it down. Okay. Get it lowered. Wipe off my stove so that my stove can stay clean. Front eye is going on medium high because I'm now going to put the hamburger meat. Bought this at my local grocery store. Ground beef. Going to open it. Put it down into the skillet. Okay. I am now going to put in sweet Italian sausage. Johnsonville. Okay. Okay. Put the paper off the back. Don't forget that. Get that to get that paper off there. Okay. Put it back in the package. Thank you. Say I put it in the garbage bag because my all right, I put it in the garbage bag to keep my house clean. I'm one of those cops yeah, so if you got plastic bags from the grocery store, when you opening up your stuff, just take your stuff and stick it right into the right right into the bag. Right into the bag. So when you when the stuff when you get ready to throw away everything, your house stay clean. That's that's the purpose of keeping your kitchen clean. Okay, so the meat has got to heat up and I gotta brown it. My pasta it's boiling so I just stir it and make sure it don't stick together and I let it cook about 10 minutes then our hamburger meat as you can see and our uh, Chinese sausage is basically done mm -hmm. so cooking it all the way through mm -hmm. make sure everybody done in this pot mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna Drain the grease off of it mm -hmm. while the pasta is still over there cooking. 
Put in the strainer. Okay. okay, from the strainer, drain all the water off, wash all the starch and stuff. Ah, pasta. Give me a nice good spoon to stir with. We're finna get it in. All right, here's my clean spoon. All right, so here we go, guys. We're about to put this dish together. So you're gonna be amazed at what I do here. Okay. Hunts, pasta sauce, garlic, and herb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take the can open after I rinse the top off. Been on them shelves, you don't know what's on there. So rinse off the top to the can. Get your can open. I'm gonna pour it in. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. There you go. Pause. You tell them you usually get what you call it, but they didn't have it. Do I have to say that? Just give me yeah. prego, we're gonna act like it really good. So then I'm also gonna add this prego three cheese. I'm gonna add about a half a jar of that. Okay? Okay. Uh, 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 old school. That's what's up. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of that on top. Okay. I'm gonna stop at about half a jar. Okay, here's the good stuff. Shake it up. Go down there. Start get you some craft zesty Italian. You talking about something good in spaghetti? Baby. Okay. Gonna open this up. Now I put as much as I wanted this in there. Cause it's to taste. Okay. Be amazed. How good this is. Really good. Okay. So now I'm gonna shake it all up good. Then I'm gonna squirt some of that in there much as you want. It's how much you like Italian. So I swear some across the top. That's good enough. Okay. Now, here come my secret recipe. Ingredient. My secret ingredient. I've been doing this for 20 years. People call me. Can you make me some spaghetti for my wedding? Can you make me some spaghetti for my birthday? Can you make me some spaghetti? So I just drop that. You can use the powder or the liquid. It don't matter. That's how I do it. I cover the top with it. It's really good. Really good. Don't knock it till you try it now. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay. Now we do my seasoning. We're going to put a little salt. Okay. We're going to put a little pepper. A little black pepper. Okay. Just sprinkle some across the top. Okay. Just that. Okay. I want you to know that about it. Um, a little minced garlic. A little garlic. A little onion powder. Mm -hmm. I tell you, you got to try this. I've been cooking it for 20 years. All right. A little garlic powder. Need that much. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, y'all. Here we go. About a tablespoon, I would say. Okay. Okay. We're gonna mix it all up. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get you a nice deep pan. Beautiful. And just go to work. 
Italian sausage and hamburger meat needs some love. Needs some sauce, honey. Okay. Look at that. Makes it real good. Okay. Okay. Now it's real, mixed real good. Now I gotta taste it. Okay. I'm back. So take a little spoon. Just want to really taste the sauce. Mm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Now put the sharp cheddar on there. Mm hmm. It's perfect, as always. So now I got to put my uh, cheddar inside. This is the only cheese that goes inside the sharp cheddar. It goes down into the pasta, and then I cover the top with a, a mozzarella. So I'm gonna pour this in there. Doesn't matter, just as long as everybody gets some love in this pot, in this pan, I mean. Then I'm gonna give me another spoon. Okay, another clean spoon. All right, now. Yeah. So we're gonna do we're gonna mix that all up into the sauce and seasoning all of it this this is a really good recipe like i said i've been cooking this 20 years 20 years and they about 25. Mm. this is the way i got came to my spaghetti spaghetti perfection okay that's what i call it spaghetti perfection when you find that recipe that's right for you you'll be like this is the one Okay, now we're going to take our bag of mozzarella. Has okay. The yeah, do the two first. This one. This one. This one, then the other one. Here's one mozzarella. This one. The other one. Here's the other mozzarella. Okay, so we got to open up the cheese. Okay, this is to make it very beautiful on top. So I want to cover it. So everybody get some cheese. Everybody. Everybody in the house get to enjoy some of that cheese flavor. Especially mozzarella. It's really good. Okay. So, get my other bag of cheese. Make it in the spots that are empty. Because I want everything to be even. I don't want one side to look meat sauce. One side has sauce and one side I want it all covered. Everybody gets some love. All right. And that is it. So I'm going to put it over into the oven. Okay, my daughter, she wants some more cheese. She's a cheese for me. So. Now we're just putting it in the oven. And when it comes out, this is how our baked spaghetti looks. And we're going to do a close-up of what's going on on the inside of the spaghetti how cheesy and how those good meats and you can see the flavors and the sauces i just wanted to do a quick cheese pull and i also wanted to say taste as you go and the ingredients will be listed in the description um, but just always taste as you go so you can know where you're at before completely being done and Always use your favorite. If your favorite cheese on top is American, use that. If you have a different favorite pasta or um, spaghetti brand that you like to use, make sure you use that. But this works great for us and the ingredients and measurements will be listed below. So this is just a little preview of the different videos we have coming up. We have crafting ideas and tutorials. We have great recipes coming up and we have some soul food some barbecue just tips and tricks to make your meals a lot better and a lot easier and still taste delicious we even have home decorations and it's very budget friendly crafting and home decorations we were able to do these look with material from the dollar store as well as St. Vincent de Paul. And we have some amazing parties coming up that you don't want to miss. We do home parties. We have concession equipment. We have custom banners made. We have balloons everywhere. We do a home movie theater. Like we have so many ideas that we can share and just so many different budgets that we work with. 
We work for indoor, outdoor parties, decorations. We have a lot of knowledge that we can share. And we even did a candy stand for a party. So please make sure to go to Facebook and like our page. And please check us out on Instagram as well. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.